This one mistake could literally be costing you thousands of dollars in profit. The majority of people who buy crypto usually don't know when to buy or sell. Everything you see on social media, probably even your friends, family, and coworkers are telling you to buy Bitcoin. But following the crowd will usually have you buying the top because, well, by the time your friends and Uber drivers are talking about it, it's probably trending. And if it's trending, then you're too late. I ran into the same exact problem during my first bull run in 2016. I started with about $1,000 and saw that jump up to around $50,000 during the peak of the bull run, only to see that all come crashing down to around $10,000 during the bear market. Yes, I'm ashamed to admit, I round tripped a lot of my profits during my first bull run. Although honestly, it really, really sucked. I did learn a lot of valuable lessons during that time. These lessons literally cost me $40,000. So in today's video, I will be breaking down a super simple and easy to use buy and hold strategy that I used during the last bull run to help me maximize my profit and a strategy that I wish I used back in 2017. And when I say it's simple, I mean it. It doesn't matter if you work a full-time job, you don't need any trading experience, and you don't even need to know how to read a chart. The only skill you need is to know how to set up an alert on your phone's calendar. It's literally that simple. What's up guys, my name is Jay and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, your go-to source to make as much money as humanly possible during this crypto bull run. In the past videos, I've shown you guys more advanced strategies like buying Bitcoin using the hash ribbon buy signal or using the double golden cross patterns, which by the way, were both right on the money. You're welcome. And I've also shared with you advanced trading strategies like how I'm using leverage to make a million dollars during this bull run and how to create passive income with your Bitcoin holding. But today we're throwing all of that out the window and keeping it as basic as possible. I'm talking about a strategy so easy that even a first grader can do it. Hmm, first graders read calendars yet? When did I learn? To yeah, hey mom. So easy a second grader can do it. Apparently I was a little slow. Okay, so let's talk about it. The average person who's buying Bitcoin nowadays has no investment background. They've maybe dabbled in Robinhood, bought some GameStop, maybe some meme coins during the pandemic, but never really got too deep into it. So you're probably seeing Bitcoin on the news. You're probably hearing people talk about Bitcoin. Everything you see on social media is probably telling you to buy Bitcoin, but do you ever notice that everyone says to buy and hold and nobody ever tells you when you're actually supposed to sell? I'm sure the reason you're getting into this is to make money, right? If you want to become financially free and eventually quit your job, just buying and holding Bitcoin is not enough. It seems so obvious, but you also need to sell at some point. Now, I'm not saying that buying Bitcoin alone will make you enough money to quit your job, but it can definitely contribute to it, especially if you get in and out at the right time. I know plenty of people who've been able to quit their jobs and do crypto full time, including yours truly. In 2016, I bought my first Bitcoin for $600. At the end of 2017, that alone was worth about $20,000. Plus I had bought another Bitcoin and made some profits trading. Profits were coming in so easily that I said, man, I could just quit my day job and do this full time. So I ended up doing that in December of 2017. A month later, my portfolio lost half its value and I went back to work. Just kidding, I thankfully never had to go back to work, but you get the picture. If you've been through a bull run already, you've probably also experienced a round trip. So the question becomes not just when do I buy Bitcoin, but you also need to know when do I sell Bitcoin so that you don't have to work at McDonald's like me during the bear market. So we're gonna be looking at three different buy and hold strategies to see how they perform versus one another. The first one is easy, just good old buying and hodling and never selling. Although if I would have held Bitcoin since I bought it back in 2016 for $600, it would be worth over $64,000 at today's prices. I would have had to endure multiple 70 and 80% drawdowns during that time. Also, if I would have never taken any profit, then are those profits even real? However, because buying and holding Bitcoin has performed so well over the years, this will be our benchmark for our other two strategies. So next, let's take a look at the worst performing buy and hold strategy. This strategy involves buying Bitcoin 18 months 
after the halving and selling Bitcoin six months before the next halving. This is by far the worst thing you can do because you've basically been buying the tops and selling the bottom. I only include this example to make the point of how important and crucial timing is in the market and throughout the halving cycle. So now that we know what the benchmark to beat is and what's the worst buy and hold strategy, let's talk about the easiest and most optimal way to buy and hold Bitcoin, which of course includes a plan to sell for profit. Okay, so remember how I said earlier that the only skill you will need for this strategy is to be able to know how to set an alert on your phone's calendar? I wasn't lying. Let's do that now. Go to these two dates. First will be October 20th, 2025. Set up an alert to sell Bitcoin. And the second date is July 16th, 2027. Here we'll be setting up an alert to buy Bitcoin. Now let's take a look at these dates and take a look at the numbers that support this buying and selling schedule. Going back to my personal example of when I first bought Bitcoin for $600 in 2016, let's say that instead of hodling it through the bear market like a dumbass, I sold it 18 months after the halving that would have meant that i sold somewhere around fifteen thousand dollars not the peak but in the ballpark my six hundred dollar investment would now be worth fifteen thousand dollars now let's say that i took those same fifteen thousand dollars to buy bitcoin again six months before the very next halving in 2020 so about 180 days. So I would have entered somewhere around $8,500 just before the COVID crash. Once again, not the bottom, but in the ballpark. That would have got me about 1.765 Bitcoin at the time. So I would have gone by owning just one Bitcoin in 2016 to almost two full Bitcoins by 2020. Let's say I stuck to the strategy and once again sold 18 months after the Bitcoin halving. That would have been around 548 days later, meaning we would have sold somewhere around $65,000. Not the peak, but in the ballpark. So now $65,000 times 1.765 five Bitcoin would have got us around $114,700. Now let's say that I finally got that money and put it back into Bitcoin six months ago, which would have been six months pre-halving. So about 180 days, meaning we would have got in between 27 to $30,000 just before the pre-halving rally. Let's call it $28,000. At $28,000 per Bitcoin, that would have got me 4.09 Bitcoin. Now we don't have data yet yet for the 18 months post halving because it literally just happens. But as of this recording, price is currently sitting at $64,500. My 4.09 Bitcoins would currently be worth $267,486. And if Bitcoin does what it's always done and it hits the prices that I anticipate over the next 18 months, at minimum, I believe that value will double. And we will be talking about how a $600 investment turned into over half a million dollars just by buying six months pre-halving and selling 18 months post house. So yes, even though if I just bought and hodled Bitcoin since 2016, I would have an insane return of 10,500% using this optimal buy and sell strategy would have made me over 44,400% in that same time. And instead of just having one lonely, lonely Bitcoin because the internet told me to buy and hodl and never sell, I'd be up over four Bitcoins today with the potential to hit over half a million dollars in the next 18 months. And notice that we never bought the exact bottom or sold the exact top. We were always just in the ballpark. And that's the whole concept of the strategy. It's not about picking tops or picking bottoms. It's just about being within the ballpark of that top or of that bottom. Because in reality, we will never know when that top or bottom is gonna happen. But luckily, we only need to be in the ballpark for this strategy to work. So although past performance doesn't guarantee future results, I think this is a very simple strategy that can maximize your profits simply by having a plan of when to buy and when to sell by using the halving cycles that happens every four years. So now with this strategy, we have answers to the two big questions that we always ask. When do I buy Bitcoin and when do I sell? So now depending when you're watching this video, we're probably not going to be within that buy window six months pre-halving. As of this recording, the halving literally just happened five days ago. And we are now in the post halving accumulation, which is phase four of the halving cycle. But although you might have missed out on some of the pre halving rally profits, history tells us that there is still plenty of profits to be made in the next 18 months. 
So I think you probably still have about another three months to accumulate Bitcoin before that next major rally to the upside. Then just remember to set up those sell alerts on your phone's calendar for October 20th, 2025. It's literally that simple. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content that will show you exactly how to make as much money as humanly possible during this crypto bull run. In fact, I found a way to make you passive income with the Bitcoin that you already own. I literally just made $30,000 this month and I've made over $85,000 in total so far this year in just four months. So if you guys want to learn this skill that, that could potentially help you quit your job, watch this next video on the screen right now. I'll see you guys there. Peace and love.